Oh, wait a second. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a. This is a fun button. It's not the button I should have right now. It's not appropriate. Here's the button that's appropriate. This is the appropriate button. For this time and space, this is a Fanny Lou Hamer. You know, I was just, I just saw her on a video, man, because of what's happening now, I mean, I'm, I'm well, listening to, watching a lot of classic stuff. You know, right now I had a thing from Black Journal, you know, Tony Brown's Black Journal. She, he had this fantastic panel, uh, which, uh, um, in fact, I'll put, I'll put it in the, in the, what a description, whatever it is, uh, what, exactly what the panel was, but Fanny Lou Hamer was on it, uh, um, um, uh, Stokely Carmichael, Secretary, um, well, a lot of people. Angela Davis, a bunch of people on this panel. It was really good. Percy Sutton is a really, really good panel. So I want you to see that. So I'm putting Fanny, Fanny today. Fanny with him today. Yeah. It's AGOS reality. It's definitely AGOS reality. Before we start, look, I wonder, uh, before I do that, hey, what's this? Hmm. I don't know what that is. Look what I got. I don't know what this is. Coconut kefir. Kefir. It says be kefir, you know, kef kefir. Kef kefir is like, never mind, I'm going to say African, whatever. Living probiotic shots. I don't know what this means. I'm going to try it. If I could open it up, okay. If I could open it up, I can try it. I'm just going to try it. And let's see. Let me read it first, man. It says electrolytes. I don't know what's in this bad boy. Ingredients. Young coconut water. Okay, kefir, co kefir cultures. 100% Pure love. That's it, coconut. Wow. It's just coconut in these cultures? This is interesting. Let me taste this bad boy. It's good for you. I mean, it's healthy for you. Let me, let me see. Did I put water on it? I'm going to take my B12 that the B gave me for no particular reason. Oh, compared to that sour kind of taste. It's fine, though. I like it. It's interesting because it tastes like coconut. Man, when it's traveling, I mean, especially in India, in the, uh, in the, in the southern part, in the, in the uh, Tamanadu state, you know, well, over the other side of the coconut areas over at, uh, you know, where uh, Arundhati Roy comes from, that other place over the other side. But Tamanadu, man, they got coconuts glow. I like drinking up coconuts. Mm. Mm. Okay, here's the thing. Look, <clears throat> how should I do this? Okay, uh, again, go back to my, my definitive job. Anyway, I, w I was at the um, I was the um, production engineer for news. And, was news. and one time, uh, there was uh, a feed was coming down, uh, and it was uh, Ronald Reagan was taking a trip to Germany, and he stopped by Bitburg. Grave or something like that. I'm going like Bitburg, isn't that? Isn't that where whatever? So it ends up, you know, that's where the Nazis are buried, you know. So he went to Bitburg to honor Ronald Reagan to honor the Nazis. And I'm going like, and you know, it's a photo op in America. And I'm going like, and no one's paying attention. I'm going like, well, why? I'm saying it doesn't make any sense. Why would you? Why? Why did you even go to the Nazis? It doesn't make any sense. It was a photo op. What does a photo op mean? Just think about it. What does a photo op mean? It means it's gonna live forever. It means they don't care what the, whoever was around. It's like when they went, when, when the Iraq War started, whatever have you, and they put down that statue. And there was only like twenty people in the crowd, you know. But the, it looked like over the world, like it was like hundreds of people. They, they thought it was hundreds of people tearing down this statue. Now it's the same thing. This whole, uh, uh, this whole not not, not be uh, uh, okay. It doesn't matter. Uh, so it's a, it's it's a, it's a photo op, right? So, but to me, that gives how do you say? Uh, the white supremacists, they get that photo and they get inspired. Other people just forget about it. You know, uh, uh, president's another presidential you know, photo op, whatever have you. Then the next uh, um, um, visuals that, I, that I, I want to relate to this whole thing has to do exactly with what's going on right now. Because really what, what, what folks have to understand is that when Ronald, when Ronald, when uh, Donald Trump became president, his first his he was uh, surrounded by a wall of white men, right? 
white man and with a lot of military, a lot of people with military things and that, that, that was his backdrop. And I looked at that and said, hmm, but right now, like I hear that uh, uh, Trump is in some sort of bunker. <laughs> I don't know. He's in some sort of bunker, you know, uh, sending out threatening tweets because he's so afraid to come out and face the people. Oh, this is uh, this is precious. OK. OK. <clears throat> so let's take care of that because um, uh, uh, I don't really want to deal with with Trump. Right. But I want to deal with is actually the 60s versus now 60s versus the 2000s. All right. And that has to do with I. Uh, uh, one of the things that when um, uh, one of the things I want to put in this description uh, or, or link I want to put is a thing that that, that he um, that, that Stokely Carmichael of uh, Carmichael was talking uh, I think it's 73 or 71 73 something like that about SNCC it's all about SNCC and one of the things that that he said is that they had to get rid of the white people uh, coming to help you know come to help because they would never really come in and basically well there's two things. Well, my, there was two things. One, it was the white people come in they have, we have more expertise. So if you had an organization, they could ascend to like like treasure or something like that because they have the expertise, they have the education, whatever have you. That's one. But the bigger thing, which is more the thing, is exactly what 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 um, uh, uh, um, what do we call it? Well, who am I talking? Who am I talking? Well, here's here's here's, here's what it is. I'm having these brain things and thinking too quick. Um, Oh, oh, okay. So, so what happens? Just a second. Is when people are, or when when a situation changes, people are liberated from this. Whatever, they're going to come back and say, "Oh, they're going to revere these white people, these like white saviors that came into their community." It has to be everything has to be from the ground up. Everything has to be from the people. Okay, uh, so that's. The, the biggest thing, the biggest takeaway we need to take away from this, the reason why it was happening with whether it's and not Antifa, but whether it's these white supremacists, uh, high trying to hijack a movement and jumping in, or, 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 or entry provocateur cops who are throwing rocks at people, whatever have you, and get it in, whatever that is, right? We don't have to. We don't have to repeat that kind of thing. We know what that is, okay? We know these agent provocateurs, right? So we got to work work with that too. The, the, but I mean, well, let's see what happens. Okay, look, I got to go. I'm going to put this one up, I suppose. I got another one I do later tonight. Um, but I want everybody to be well. This is like, a, this is historic, you know? Uh, this is historic. I mean, I ain't never seen nothing like that in my life, like this in my life. And I've been, I've been in protests and whatever since... I mean, it's just 63, I guess. I mean, it's when I first, whatever, no, 68, 68, all those places, you know, 64 when they had a blackout in New York, all that stuff, you know. So what's going to happen? Ooh, just stay on it, man. Whatever your capabilities, just stay on it. Don't give up. Don't give up the fight. You got, especially, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm rambling, but I got to say this. It's interesting because I was looking because Joe Biden said something like that. He grew up in something like he grew up in the civil rights era. He said something like that. And what's most fascinating to me about this whole thing is that the, Joe Biden's going to be buried. You know, the, um, uh, Obama's going to be buried because all you have to do is say, look, those cops, they were weaponized. They were um, militarized, weaponized under Obama and Biden. Just keep on saying Obama and Biden did this to us. That's all you got to do. Done. All right. Just um, a little message from me. T, from the Pattersons, taking a trench into bed, letting you know what I only suspect. From, and, oh, here we go. I should take the hat off here. See my haircut that my Muslim barber gave me, my Iman barber gave me? Anyway. I'm an A-D-O-S reality. Be well.